Hey everybody, this is JKPZ28 from South Mississippi Gamers. Uh, today I wanted to <clears throat> show y'all a uh, new uh, model I just got in this afternoon. Um, what this is, is a, a linked barricade system from Mr. Dandy. Uh, he runs a website called MrDandy.com. Uh, called it's also called War War Gamma Alternative Battle Miniatures. I guess it means War Gamma. Um, and what they do is they have some some different versions of uh, I guess what you would call Aegis lines. Uh, and this is one I bought for the orcs uh, just because they look so cool. Uh, and he does his own molds and stuff. So uh, this is the you know a first look. Uh, this is how they come packaged. Um, they come with a little card from him too, but other than that, what you see is what you get. <clears throat> Alright, first, uh, this is the first time I'm opening them, so you're seeing them as I, I'm seeing them. And I'm trying to keep uh, you know, good light in here, so hopefully I'm not making too much of a shadow. Alright, so bag number one. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, definitely a good bit of... Uh, Excuse me, a good bit of flash. You know, all this has to be cut off. i got to remember to stay on camera. Uh, all this will have to be cut off and trimmed up. But, I mean, overall, pretty nice looking little piece. I mean, definitely orky. I know he has some other uh, some other, area, uh, other areas, other armies that he does. Uh, I think he's got like a tower or what he calls a Xenos one that looks pretty dang good. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, pretty nice looking um, definitely will need some flash work, uh, trimming it. Uh, this, I believe, is the base for the quad gun for the orcs. So, uh, and that's what you'd mount that to. Looks pretty good. This has very minimal flash. I'm not really seeing any pitting yet. Just a little bit of cleaning up. But, uh, looks... Looks pretty nice. Definitely uh, looks better for orcs than the standard Aegis line. <clears throat> Alright, here's a, uh, another double set of walls. You know, it's not all the same look. It's all kind of you know, different plates of metal put together. You know, again, here's the flash. I'll have to trim that up and some flash within these things. So overall, and what I'm seeing so far is a good bit of trimming to get the flash out. But man, the, the mold quality looks pretty nice. I mean, the details are in there. I mean, this is, you know, sorry, let me get it on camera. I mean, this little checkering pattern and over here, the grading pattern. I mean, it's in there. It's a, it's a nice little mold he's got going. All right, we'll go to some smaller pieces of the wall. You know, this one definitely has a chunk of uh, <laughs> flash on the bottom. But, you know, I saw these on his website on MrDandy.com. And, you know, immediately fell in love with them. Uh, I, that's what I was looking for. I didn't, you know, I couldn't get in. I really wasn't getting into building a scratch-built Aegis line. But, uh, I mean, these are really, really nice. I'm digging them. Uh, just another wall, another chunk of line. And these will look real good with uh, some Ludas behind them shooting at everything. But I mean, it's both sides. Uh, here, there we go. I just broke it apart. I'll have to trim it up later. I'm not real sure how they're going to hook together. I'll have to look online what he has for a picture reference uh, to see how he actually set them up. But I'm sure it's something fairly simple. Just, you know, gluing them together and making runs of wall. And uh, lastly, uh, another section of wall out of that pack. Alright, here's the second Ziploc. And the other half of all the goodies that he sends you. Alright. In here, you can see we got some more wall, some more pieces. Yeah, same as, put them back here. Same as before. You know, you can see the flash on them that you'll have to, you know, trim up. 
have you a nice sharp exacto knife and you'll be in good shape uh, right here I'm assuming it looks like all of this all of this is flash and would need to be trimmed off below that this line right here so that'll be a that'll be fun I'm assuming it may not be uh, maybe not I'm not sure yet <laughs> I'll, I'll have to double check the pictures uh, sadly no instructions come with it but you know I'll make do with pictures from the internet uh, another chunk of wall yeah same thing a little bit of flash to clean up and it you can tell it pops off in a heartbeat anyway it won't be nothing with an exacto knife to go through and trim up its counterpart uh, another double wall section I know this is all so exciting but I figured you know maybe we could get a good look for those who are really interested but want to see you know how it comes and what it really looks like when you get first get it in and what you're going to have to do to it I mean so yeah I mean it just breaks it breaks apart pretty easy all right, here we have the actual quad gun turret. So, move all this stuff over. All right. So for the quad gun, you know, orcs gotta have daka daka, right? So we get four of these guns. A nice rainy day outside if you can't hear it so you get four of these guns they're all the same gun they all look exactly the same and your uh, your turret top all right and then I'm guessing these are the hookups yeah so those two those two inlets is where those two dots will hook up to to make your quad guns. So that'll be pretty cool. Whoop! Sorry about that. Um, I'm not really sure where these go yet. <laughs> I will figure it out. But once I get it put together, I'll uh, get it painted up. I'll I'll drop it in another video and show you the, the final product. But this is what it looks like if you order one out of the bag and the you know a little bit of work you'll have to put into it to get it game ready. Uh, I'd say probably an hour if you're you know real meticulous with the trimming the flash off. But so far I really like it. Uh, I got it from uh, MrDandy.com. It was 44 bucks for everything. Um, so not too shabby for a, a custom cool Aegis line. And like I said, they got uh, they've got all types on here. I'm sure he wouldn't mind you know, a little screenshot. You know, some Xenos type stuff. I'm gonna scroll. This may be shaky, guys. I'm sorry if it is. You know, some mech stuff, some chaosy looking stuff. Um, I would guess that would be either Tau down on the bottom, Tau, and then <laughs> a Tyranid one. So he's got all types, so uh, check him out. Uh, stuff looks pretty good. And uh, I'll get back to y'all <laughs> once I get all this stuff you know, trimmed up and put together. And I'll uh, show it to you again. Alright, this is JKPZ28 from South Mississippi Gamers. Thanks for watching. And as always, check us out on our blog spot. See you there.